All right. What's good, YouTube? My name is Alex Colfit, and welcome back to the channel. And today, 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 we got the grand finale. Glutes and hammies to end with the workout. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you watch the quad one, because that's the only one really lacking on views. Don't forget that's quad. Just one do your glutes. Be proportional. Got it? Got it, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna work those glutes, and hamstrings. Let's get it, let's go. Let's warm up. All right, yeah, I gotta start off dancing. Y'all know me, ah, ah. All right, let's get into it though. We are gonna start off with Kang squat, three times 10. And Kang squats are kind of like an RDL in squat combined. So you're, I'm literally gonna hinge back first, with those hips, yep. And then go down to the squat and really squeeze when you come up. And we're just gonna do everything today is basically three times 10. And of course I did my mobility. If y'all wanna see my mobility, go to my quad video for week of workouts. But I'm gonna hinge and squat up and go back up and you're gonna hit your hammies and glutes at the same time these had me burning they're a really really great way to get that booty looking good while hitting your hammies at the same time because people don't understand when you grow your hammies you're growing the underneath part of your booty and that's what makes it sit nice but yep i'm just doing a few times 10 for these giving y'all different angles so you can really see the form we want to make sure when we're hitting that rdl we're hitting in 90 degrees and we're hinging with our hips Hinging with our hips is the key. Imagine as if you are putting your butt against a wall. These started to burn. You can see like literally I was just ready to be done. Me, I'm gonna finish them out, but I'm gonna dance it out like there's no tomorrow. Ah, 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 yeah. All right, now we're gonna go into a moderate weight. We really wanna focus on our form for these hip thrusts. Three times 10, make sure you're really squeezing at the top. And I like to think of RDLs and hip thrusts as the same because you're hinging with your booty. It's literally like an RDL is a standing up hip thrust. But three times 10 for these. I just love this machine. My favorite machine, if your gym has one, don't be afraid to use it. It's a godsend. Now you're going to see me struggle with the pad because this is not the normal pad that goes with it. Normally it's this tie-dye one. So uh, you're going to see me struggle with this. I'm literally fighting. But eventually I'm literally just going to go ahead and just tie my jacket around and just take that pad off. Because when you put heavy weight on it, it's like the, the belt just hurts on this one. Some already have automatically attached cushion to the belt. But yeah, nothing a uh, little quick padding can't help. Well, not padding, y'all know what I mean, my jacket. You know, you know, you know, we're thriving, you know. All right, and we're gonna go right back into it and we're gonna do three times 10, three sets, 10 reps. Let's get it, let's go. Woo! Yeah, you know how I always gotta dance it out. All right, now I did three times six to eight, but you all are gonna do three times 10. I chose to go heavy on these. I am doing 65 pound dumbbells in each arm and it's moving easy. So clearly I should have went up in weight, but I hadn't, take, I hadn't taken 65 pounds for a spin in a while. Remember y'all, don't underestimate yourself. Cause me, I try not to, but sometimes I do. I forget how like strong I am. But push yourself, don't underestimate yourself. Make sure you're hinging those hips and it's gonna hurt. Boom, yeah. Literally, I'm gonna yank the, yeah. Sometimes it's just like that. Ooh, I literally wanted to see my hammies. All right, now we're gonna go into single leg hamstring curls, three times 10 each leg. My hamstrings were on fire after this because a girlie decided to do 65 pound dumbbells. I definitely should have slowed down on these. I was in pain. So make sure y'all are going slow. I mean, we're human, we make mistakes, and when we're in that pain, literally, don't think because I've been doing this for a while, I still have the same thing going on that y'all do. Same little fitness things. It's gonna burn regardless. 
If you ain't burning, you ain't working. All right, now we're gonna hit the other leg three times ten. I really like these because it tell it really helps me if I have an imbalance in one leg than the other. Like this one right here, I have a harder time on. This is my weaker leg. As you can see, it's going up much slower, but that's better, I guess, because I just don't want to be yanking the weight up there. But after these, we're going to finish off just with step ups, three times ten each leg, nothing crazy. And make sure y'all sort of uncontrolled on these. I try to, but whenever it's on the bench, it literally is harder for my balance. I was going to do the Smith machine, but I was just not feeling setting it up today. So I was like, let me do what I'm comfortable with and get it done. Switching legs three times ten. And thank you all for tuning in for the last week of workouts. This is very beginner friendly to grow those glutes. And I'm going to throw it back to future Alex or. Oh, excuse me. I was yawning. My brain needed oxygen. But yeah, I'm about to throw it back to past Alex, future Alex, whatever you want to call it. And she's going to close out the video for me. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in for week of workouts. I try to record record corn abs, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I literally fell off the treadmill and yeah, busted my ass. All right, though. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for 600. One day a thou, one day a meal. Road to 700. Here's Alex. All right, y'all. That is the last day of week of workouts. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we are on the road to 700, one day a thou, one day a mil. Thank you all. Remember to do it the cool fit way.